so we can expose all the parameters that we want our use case is the banking application so the attributes i will use is account type token and i will leave these two attributes for now if required i will go ahead and add any more attributes in the future so as it's a post mapping we will also require a request body and the headers to send with the request all right so so request body token request body this is the class and we don't have this token request body so what all things or the parameters that you want to send the mandatory parameters that are required that you can add it in the token request body so let's go ahead and create the token request body in our model class itself so i want to send account number account type whether it's a saving account or current account or salary account all those details will be in the account type user type and basically all the parameters that are required to identify your customer that all things you can add and send in the request so i will keep it only three parameters for now and along with this we also need to add the setters and the getters because we will need to use it for setting the values or for getting the values so for writing setters and getters you can just go ahead and create the setters and getters by going to source source and generate setters and getters all right you can select all that whatever you want and there is another way of writing the setters or getters that is by using the project lombok so for adding the project lombok in your application you need to go to uh, the maven project lombok here and it's project lombok.org setup maven and you need to copy this dependency and after copying it you need to go to your pom.xml and you need to inside your dependencies you need to paste it here and save it and this version you can remove it as this is a managed dependency we can remove it and the dependency got downloaded now we can go ahead and at the top of the project if we mention here at the rate setters so you can see that it's coming from the lombok you can get the setter or you can get the getter right and you can get the data so if you give the data you don't need to give the setters and the getters if you hover on that you will see generates getters for all the fields a useful to string method and a hash code equals implementation that checks all non transient fields so this will generate this is equivalent to getters setters required all are required are constructed to string equal hash code and all those things right so now that we are using this at the rate data we don't need to provide this getters and setters manually we can keep our classes neat and clean all right similarly we can use the same annotation in this class as well okay now after the request body i also want to keep request headers I just want to cover most of the things in the project so that you get a hands on on how real time my spring boot project is made so for request headers we give annotation as request headers and in the bracket 
we give the key of the request header let's say api version and and if this is a mandatory parameter we give it as required and here we give the type of it all right so request header value calls this is the key of the request header and uh, the value type here we define it like that we can give as many headers as we want let me give some more headers account type and the third one i will give it as message id or we can give any parameter that you can identify all right so these three headers will be required when we send request through postman also one more thing this is a controller class and it should return response entity So we are changing it to response entity of JSON token. All right. Now we need to call our actual uh, service class where all these things are going to happen. So let's create a service class and call it from here. So service class we have not created it. Let me first name it. What is the service class name? Let's say it as a token service dot generate token. All right, let's go ahead and declare this class in here. And we will auto wire it. All right, this token service we have not created it. So we'll go ahead and create it. I will keep it as a private. Create class token service and i will keep it in the service package this is a service class so we will annotate it with service and we also defined a method in here inside this token service that is generate token let me go ahead and create that method in our token service class all right Um, by default here the return type is void let me change it to jwt token because it should return us a jwt token along with some other parameters add the return type just a null for now what all things we require for generating the json web token okay so first of all we need some dependencies so that we can use the json web token so what dependency we will use we can find that dependency in the maven central let's go to maven central 